Welcome to Open Source Spotlight. We invite open source authors and ask them to show the tools they are working on. Today we have Eric. Hi, Eric. Tell us a few words about yourself and about the tool you want to show us. Hi, Alexei. Uh, thanks very much for inviting me to uh, this uh, this video, and we can have a short demo on Apache Dolphin Schedule. I am a container of the Apache Dolphin Schedule project, and as its name, uh, it is a project under the Apache of organization and of course it is an open source project. Uh, Dolphin is a project for big data orchestration, which means uh, it handles the uh, dependencies of big data tasks and it could do the scheduling stuff. And uh, there are several orchestration tools uh, for big data such as Apache Airflow and Apache Dolphin Scheduler and uh, Apache Uzi and some uh, project which is not which is not under the uh, Apache organization. Uh, they share the common nature, which is the big data orchestration tool, but they have um, quite different user experience. For uh, Apache Airflow, for those users who prefer coding over clicking, it is uh, one of the best choice. They could do um, nearly everything through coding to handle the workflow logic. But for uh, in some other regions, in some countries, people have different pro uh, background in programming. They do not want to spend more t uh, extra time to uh, co coding for the uh, workflow topology for the uh, for uh, extra stuff. So they want to only focus on their business logic. They they want to uh, keep things simple. Here comes the uh, Apache Dolphin schedule. You could do almost everything through clicking or uh, so called. Uh, drag and uh, drop to do the to build the workflow. So um, here is the introduction. And uh, do you have any questions, or we just get into the demo part? Let's see the demo. Yes, I will probably have a lot of questions as we see the demo. Okay, so let's go to the demo part. Okay. So this is a home page of the uh, Dolphin Scheduler web UI. You could see there are uh, statistics for the tasks and the workflows, which is called process here. Uh, let's go to the project part and uh, we create a, a project for a demo. Uh, the demonstration are uh, consists of uh, three parts. For the first part, we are going to give a short demo of how to uh, build a workflow on Dolphin Scheduler. The second part, we are going to show how to do uh, scheduling in Dolphin Scheduler. And the third part, we will show how to manage the resources related to the workflow uh, in Dolphin Scheduler. And um, in all these three parts, we, we are going to show how to do those stuff without any actual coding. So let's get started. The first part, uh, we are going to show the uh, how to build a workflow in Dolphin Scheduler. Uh, in machine learning or big data area, there are sometimes uh, data analysis or scientists, they need to uh, do some data processing. They need to build a model or they, sometimes for, uh, for machine learning scientists, they need to do the prediction. And all these tasks, they, they could have dependencies on each other, uh, on, uh, one and another. For example, uh, in machine learning area, you need to do the data pre-processing before you could train the mode, model. And after you tra train the model, you could, could go to the next step, which is uh, prediction or evaluation stuff. Uh, so there are dependencies among tasks. Uh, we are, to keep things simple, we will only use shell task here to uh, simulate those complex tasks. Uh, workflow, maybe we need to um, do a pre-process the first yeah to keep things simple we, we will only use echo here after this step we are going to do the um, training maybe And uh, after that, we will go into the uh, prediction step. And to make this part a little bit longer, so you can see the uh, dependency, you can see the condition between tasks. We will have a, a sleep task here. Maybe we sleep for 30 seconds. So it will pause a year after, uh, uh, before this task uh, is finished. And the last one, maybe evaluation.
Okay, then we are going to build the uh, topology. In Dolphin Schedule, you just need to connecting those tasks. Yeah, without coding. Now we have already built a, a process, uh, which is also known as a uh, workflow here. So we save this workflow. Yeah, now we have already built the workflow to trigger it. We need to um, online it before. Now we could trigger it. In the workflow instance page, you could see it is now uh, running. And you can see those tasks in the uh, task instance page. Yeah, are these tasks yeah. running locally right now on your machine? Yeah. Uh, no, for demo purpose, I run it in a standalone mode, but in production, you could do it uh, in a cluster or uh, on a Kubernetes cluster. Now you could see uh, it, it is pos posing here, executing, because we uh, write a sleep 30 seconds here, so it, it won't get into the next step until it is finished. Yeah, now uh, this prediction step finished and so the evaluation step is triggered and you can see it here. Uh, all these four tasks are completed. Yeah, this is about the uh, dependency part. It is, this is about how we build a workflow in Apache Dolphin Scheduler. And next we are going to uh, go into the scheduling part because uh, for those data analysis or those data scientists, they may have uh, hundreds or thousands of workflows a, uh, a day. So they cannot trigger all of these tasks manually or just do, a, do some kind of simple Chrome job. So we need uh, some kind of scheduling features for them. So they could run those special job automatically. Now you can see there is uh, timing stuff here. We could, we could click it and we could build the schedule with um, Chrome job. But we do not, for users who, who uh, do not know about the Chrome expression, it is totally okay because they could do everything on the uh, UI. Because uh, to make things more clear, we will uh, have the schedule in a very, very short period. For example, maybe uh, three seconds every minute every hour okay and here is a tab called execute time you can click it and you will see the uh, next five execution times now we confirm it and again we still need to uh, online this and now in the workflow instance page we could say it is uh, in the state of scheduling uh, as we have set the period to uh, every th three seconds. So you can see it just keep pumping up. Yeah. So this is uh, about the scheduling part, uh, but usually in production, we won't we won't set a, such a short period. Maybe we need to, we just run the job uh, once a day or once a week. Now we're offline it. Uh, those instances are still running after the uh, finished. They will stop and stop scheduling. You you can see there are there are there are no more um, new instances pumping up because we've already uh, stopped the scheduling. Yeah, this is the second part about the scheduling, and now we go to the uh, third part about how to manage resources in Dolphin Scheduler. Uh, in big data area, people usually need to have different resources for the tasks such as uh, UDF, UDFs or some kind of jars, uh, especially for Spark task or Hive task. So uh, again, we want to keep things simple. So we just write a text here and we use a show task. We do a cat to uh, demo this feature. As I said, uh, users could just use this web UI to create a file. Um, 
uh, you could uh, create those kind of uh, different kind of file formats such as text uh, uh, shell or C code Java something like that in this list. We have a text here. So we click save. Oh, we, we uh, actually I have uh, already the same name file in, in my directory, so I change it. Okay, we have a hello file here. Now we create another new workflow to show this resource. Again, I show task, we call it um, echo hello. And in this resource tab, we could see all the files in our resource center. We uh, click the hello CP text. here. Now you can see it is running and we refresh the page, uh, it finishes and uh, we could see the log. Yeah, you can see the uh, hello world text uh, printed out by domain scheduler. So here, uh, this is almost about the three parts of our demonstration. And you can see we, uh, I just opened the Grafana page here. During our, during our demonstration, we did a lot of, uh, we, we triggered several workflows and tasks. And we, in Dolphin Schedule, we often, uh, we also has uh, metrics for the monitoring. So uh, I've already opened a Grafana page here. You can see we've uh, already triggered several jobs here. And those metrics are all caught by the Prometheus and uh, in our demo dashboard. So you can see those fancy graphs. I think this is probably the end of our demonstration. So do you have any questions? Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, so Thank your you. main target audience is, uh, so they are, they are data analysts and data scientists, right? So people who do not necessarily enjoy writing a lot of uh, code. Yes, um, actually our main users are data analysis. Uh, um, most of the tasks they will run are big data tasks such as Spark, mm -hmm. Link, Hive or stuff. But uh, just for demonstration purpose, I'm using a machine learning, yeah. a very easy machine learning workflow. But actually, mm -hmm. uh, most of people use this uh, just for big data. Yeah. I see. How many people are working on Dolphin? Uh, yes, this is a good question. And uh, actually, you could see it here. Uh, this is our GitHub page, and you can see we have already about uh, 10,000 start, and uh, uh, there are now currently there are 464 contributors. Oh. But of course, not all of them are active. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But uh, like usually, not always, but sometimes uh, there are some companies behind open source projects, and in the, these companies, there are people who are full time dedicated to who are dedicated full time to these open source libraries are there people who are dedicated full time to dolphin and if there are how many of them are there uh, yes the the biggest company um, i think the, the company who has uh, who has the most uh, pmc members in this community is called where ops uh, is dedicated to this project and all also, there are several uh, cloud providers behind this project, such as Alibaba Cloud, which is the uh, largest cloud provider in China. And uh, I am an uh, engineer at Alibaba Cloud, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your res responsibilities uh, uh, include working on this project at your work, right? Yeah, um, but also we have our uh, enterprise um, version of this tool mm -hmm. uh, but we also uh, yeah in our part time we will contribute to this project and maintain this project mm -hmm. if somebody wants to join 
this list of 400 contributors, how do they do this? How do they contribute to Dolphin? Yeah, uh, we have a mail list and also for just if they have issues and uh, they have they, they want to do some quick fix for the tool, they could uh, open a pull request on the uh, in the GitHub or they could submit an issue here. Also, they could visit our uh, main page, which is officially uh, official main page, which is uh, dopingscheduler.org and they could find more information here about the mail list or something like that. So for mm -hmm. example, there is a community community uh, tab. You can see there are links to GitHub, links to Slack, link to Twitter and uh, mail list. Mm -hmm. What are your plans? What do you want to work on next? Um, so we are we are trying to make this tool more stable uh, as our as the name of our project is dolphin because uh, the dolphin the animal it has two hemisphere and uh, when it go to sleep one uh, may be inactive but another is still active compared to this project uh, we we want it to be more uh, reliable more stable and never crashes so we have the name for it. Also, we have our slogan as uh, choose good tools that home early, use right schedule, sleep tight. So we will put more effort on the stability sites. Mm -hmm. uh, another another part we will continue to work on is about the cloud native cloud native features. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, do you have any advice to anyone who is watching this? But I really like the slogan, so maybe this could be one of the uh, uh, suggestions, right? Yeah. So do you have any other advice to, that you would give to our listeners, to anyone who is watching this? Uh, okay, so if you are interested in this project, um, please stay connected to this uh, community because our community is very responsive. So you can uh, submit an issue or join our Slack, you will get a, a very quick response. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks for showing the tool. Thanks for doing the demo. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for inviting me here today. <laughs>